Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I have so much to catch you up on on Maribel. So let's get started. Uh, before we do though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support. Okay, so since we last met up, we, um, let's see, we've got the earrings. The earrings are super cute. Uh, we did the pump or the yarn butterfly the embroidery on this is just HTV flock and it's beautiful because it stands out and it's different than the black that's in the background. So I actually, I love this HTV flock. First of all, in person, it's so vibrant. I know it's black and I'm saying it's vibrant, but it really does pop and it gives you that like um, fabric feel to it. Then I stitched her name, Maribel. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So today we're gonna to do this and we're gonna do the tassels that are going at the bottom of her skirt, just like the movie. So with Maribel, this is, I hand stitched this. Um, it's actually not as tedious and as hard, or I don't know if it looks hard. It wasn't hard at all. But, and it wasn't as time consuming as I thought it would be. But it just gives that whole like feel to it. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. So let's glue this down. This is what it looks like in the back. I was really worried because this paper is about, I think it's a hundred pound cardstock, between 80 and 100. Um, what I did initially, and you can see, Everything looks pretty easy to read except for the pink. The pink was really light. I initially did this whole thing in thread and the thread against this blue just did not pop. So I ended up re-threading it. I used, um, it wasn't yarn, but it's that, well, for the blue, what did I use? I used just a darker thread for the blue. I switched it out from the light blue that I had to the dark blue. And then, let me show you what I did. I use this um, threading. It's like, um, it's really thick that I only, I didn't, you know how normally you would, you would pull this down and then you would tie the two ends so you have like a, a loop, right? This was so thick, I couldn't do it. It's just a single strand. So I only doubled up up here so that I could keep, you know, so that I can actually thread it, but I left it like this. Um, and then the other thing that I would have used is this embroidery floss. It needed more of a pop in color. The back, I ended up, because I had to restitch it, I'm really worried about the um, stability. <laughs> I feel like the paper has been compromised, you know, just from like so much threading back and forth. This is the back. I taped it so that it's not gonna get undone. And then we're gonna glue it onto, we're gonna glue it on actually just right now because that piece is done. So I'm gonna show you how I did that um, because we're gonna stitch a little bit more down here. So I'm gonna move this for a second. And this little guy we know, um, you know, I'm gonna turn on my glue gun and we're just gonna, we're gonna hit the glue gun with it only because there's, it's just so thick now with everything underneath it. Okay, so let me show you how I did the stitching. Um, what I would do is I would line up the next set, right? Because I'm gonna be stitching a little bit down here. And so I'm gonna line this up so that it goes exactly where the skirt goes because I'm gonna do the stitching. It's gonna go down to the two panels. So this should be interesting. It's gonna go like, <laughs> we'll see. Um, what did I use? I, did I use a white pencil? I think I did. Give me a second. Using a pencil helps you be, you know, helps, helps it just create the flow. So I think I'm going to do something on this side. So that might be hard for you to see, but, um, I'm gonna do something like that. So you, I don't know if you can even see that. Let me move it up a little bit. So I've traced out 
Oh yeah, you can see that. So I trace like a little string. I'm gonna add sublimation leaves. We're gonna do that tomorrow. So today we're just doing the stitching and the tassels. Um, so you can see this, this line right here, and then this up here. So this one's kind of hard. To, oh, there, you can kind of see it now. So it's just like a little loop, keeping it simple. That's all we're gonna do on her. And then I'm gonna show you these tassels. So I made four of them already. I want five tassels. So to make sure that they're all the same size, I didn't cut them yet really at the bottom. I didn't trim them. I'm a, we're gonna do the fifth one and then we're gonna trim them so that they're all equal. But I'm gonna show you how to make those, all right? So this is gonna be quick and easy. I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. I'm gonna show you how to stitch that. 